Good day, ladies and gents, and welcome back to War Thunder. Now, <laughs> you're probably wondering, uh, what was that intro about? Eh, well, all I have to say is, just don't worry about it. <laughs> um, so today, we are taking a look at something a little bit different. This is the MC202EC. Um, just before I get into this, actually, quick disclaimer, there's no sound in this video. Um, and a simple reason for that is because I would, this is taken... Sorry about that. This is taken live from uh, my Twitch live stream, and I had some pretty heavy music playing over it, which I think just was a little bit too loud, and just kind of took away from takes away from the actual gameplay. Like I want this to be enjoyed by as many people as possible, and I feel like with music on, it it, it just doesn't allow that to happen. And the other thing is, you're gonna notice the video is gonna look like it's freezing. Uh, throughout this, it's not actually freezing. That would just be me tabbing out to change the songs. Basically, X Split stops recording the video. So yeah, the MC202 EC. Why was I playing this aircraft? Well, this is actually the highest BR vehicle I have in my Italian lineup. Um, I haven't played that much Italian Tetri, and that's simply because until recently there wasn't really anything in that Tetri that I really wanted. They're still lacking a Mac 2 capable jet, and well, actually, any supersonic uh, come to think of it. With the closest thing being the G91s, and while the G91s are interesting-looking aircraft, I don't, f I didn't, I've never felt like I could really get much enjoyment out of them with the way that Wolf Hunter currently is. Um, that, of course, subjects change. It's just also more of a case of wanting to grind other aircraft. But when I was on live stream. Um, we were playing a lot of Mac 2 capable aircraft, there was a lot of F4 Phantom games, there was a lot of T2 games, MiG-19 we had a man managed to get a very good match in, which I might show you guys as well. But yeah, I basically decided I wanted to do something a bit different. And so, I went through my lineups, uh, went, clicked on Italy, saw this plane and thought, huh, I haven't played this aircraft in months. I think the last time I actually played this machine I was with Steven, and I'd only just speeded it. So I figured, you know what, good enough, let's take the Italians out for a game, could be memes, right? And I didn't expect to have the best game I've ever had in this plane. Or even in the Italian tech tree. In fact, this is one of the best games I think I've had in War Thunder full stop. It was definitely one of the most fun to play. And it's all going to kick off very, very soon. So right now, there's an A35 who's strafing AAA down on the deck. And that's what I'm looking for. We've got very thick cloud cover on this on this match, so rather than fly up into it and try and get above everyone, I think, you know what? Now nah, no one's gonna not many people are gonna see me. There's someone down low ground pounding. Um, I just wanna get a quick and easy kill. And, you know, maybe not the most competitive way to play, but as you're gonna see, it is actually gonna turn out to be a very good well, not actually good, a very profitable choice. So there is what I believe is the D520. So not the A35 that I was looking for, but initially I thought it was him because he was down there strafing A, and so I dive on him. Uh, I get a little bit too close, and I overspeed the aircraft. It starts to compress, so I flip it over and come back around. The D520 actually tries to come up for me here, and I start to come back down for him, lose control temporarily. The D520 is coming up, but he can't quite get his guns on me, and I set him on fire. So, in a few minutes, the D520 is going to go down and be my first kill of the match. So we start flying away, doing a quick little victory roll, which actually ends up saving my life, because there's an A36, and look how close he was to hitting me. Now, I know the A36 reasonably well, and I, while I don't know the 202EC that well, I do know the regular 202. Um, and I know I could easily outmaneuver an A36 any day of the week with that aircraft, so I just apply the same tactics, I get back on the A36, take a quick shot, completely miss, there goes the D520, and this A36 doesn't stand a chance. He should have really used that energy to disengage. He shouldn't have tried to turn fight with me, but it's low tier. What are you going to do? He goes up into the vertical. Big mistake. Kill number two. And the double strike award. And here comes the P400. And this is another occasion when I should have died. I was low on energy. So I nose the aircraft over, go for a dive, and I just, just about managed to stay out of the path of his guns. I think what happened was the P400 came in from altitude, compressed a little bit too hard, and didn't quite realize his aircraft couldn't handle that. So, change the song, because <laughs> I didn't like what was playing at the time, <coughs> which was a stupid move, now that I think about it, and again, still not quite happy, but at this point I was convinced, I was, you know, I felt fairly confident the P400 was not actually um, in a position to really do much damage to me, so I go back and change the song, and he starts to come around, dramatically underestimates how much energy I have, 
and that's kill number three. So this has already become one of the best games I've had in the MC202 EC, or even just in the MC202s. My biggest problem with the original MC202, which I primarily played in the German tech tree, um, was the lack of firepower. I thought the aircraft itself was great, but two 12.7s, two 7.7s, seven sevens, uh, 2.3, 2.7, not really good enough. But these two 20mm cannons are doing some serious, serious work. And pay close attention to the ammunition counter, because we still have 350 rounds left. And we've shot down three enemy aircraft. That's more than double what most aircraft would have for their cannons at this sort of BR. We're only playing at 3.3. You know, the closest competitor I can think of is the Spitfire Mark II B, which only has 120 rounds, 60 per gun for its cannons. And speaking of Spitfires, here comes one now. Try to get out of the way, it's a Mark II B, so I'm thinking, oh god, here I am, I'm dead. And he overcompressed again, too many planes on his tail, I'm not entirely sure what happened. He over I make him overshoot, he tries to fly away, put the aircraft on its side, so I can use my vertical guidance, and kill number four. And you can just see just how quickly these guns are making mincemeat of anything that gets close. And because I don't have to fire so few shells, because I will admit, I am quite well practiced with the MG151s, I don't have to fire many rounds to get my kills. And I can really rely on these guns. Kill number five on the Typhoon who tried to go above me. And the MC202 is really performing, even at this low energy state. And I keep the aircraft turning, I keep my head on a swivel, I'm constantly looking out for anything that could possibly dive on me. And my teammates are getting involved. We've pretty much got this match. Spitfire 2B tries to come back in. Critical hit. And at this point, I'm thinking, this guy's going to die. I'm going to get an assist. There, there's no chance I'm going to have to loop around and actually kill him. Because look how many um, friendly aircraft are in the air. Spitfire's chasing someone in the turn. Here comes this guy trying to spray him. But again, can't seem to find the target. Friendly aircraft there rolls out of the way. I'm coming in for the Spitfire. Teammate doesn't look like he's going to get it. Spit goes into the vertical right in front of me. Kill number six. Yeah, I was feeling pretty good about this game. Now, you guys might not be able to see this just because of the quality of the video, but there's someone in chat right now on the enemy team who's a bit upset that um, we're, we're kind of winning by quite a bit. So he says, go terrorize BR a little higher. Now, I thought he was referring to me because I am a level 100 player. And I'm in a 3.3 plane. So it's a fair assumption. But this is legitimately the highest BR plane I have in Italy in my lineup. I have some higher BR vehicles unlocked, but I haven't purchased any of them yet because I haven't got a silver. So I sent a message in chat saying, this is the, you know, saying the truth. This is the highest BR I have with Italy. And this guy, who's clearly very salty, decides, no, he's not talking about me. He's not talking about another player on my team who's not done a whole lot, he's referring to the four-man squad, and as you can see, when we go back into the chat, that four-man squad, who are all apparently level 100, only have one kill between them. He's talking about the Crux squad. Yeah. Like, I don't know what this guy's problem was. So the four-man squad, terrorizing the game, because they're all four of them are level 100s. And you can see me there, I'm pointing it out to the chat in, in my live stream. Clearly they're the ones doing all the work. And I'm not trying to throw shit at these players, I'm just trying to state the obvious here. Like, I have six kills by myself. They have one between four of them. And I know a bunch, I know a couple of them are in bombers, but it, the point remains the same. Like, I, I just kind of sat there just like looking, watching this chat, reading this guy, just go really, get really upset with this four-man squad for terrorizing this battle. And I'm kind of looking and thinking, uh, they didn't do anything. Why are you having a go at them? Like, come throw shade at me. Like, I can handle it. Like, I'll tell you the truth. This is the highest BR plane I have with Italy. Like, I just haven't ground Italy. I've ground Britain, USA, Germany, uh, Japan, Russia. Just not Italy. So, yeah. So, last guy left alive on that team is the old Beef Wellington, who's having a gunship war with a DO-217. And I have just about enough energy to pull up and get in front of him, and he's in a welly. He doesn't stand a chance. Now, I'm fully expecting the, the 217 to get him, but the 217 can't quite seem to hit the target, so I fill up the Wellington and set a fire. I'm still not expecting to get the kill. I'm thinking there's no way. The 217 is going to loop around, he's going to kill him. But no, we set the fire on the Wellington. There goes the B.A.9 who's trying to hound him down. He's going to go much faster than I am, got more energy. 
you know, he's going to kill him, right? He's spraying his guns, 217 spraying his guns. Nope, I get the kill. Seven kills. I'm not sure how many times I've actually managed to get seven kills in a War Thunder RB, in a War Thunder RB game. But I'm pretty sure I could probably count the number of times I've actually managed to do it on, on my hands. And I'm fairly sure my record is only about eight. I'm sure I got eight at least once, but yeah. That was one of the best games of War Thunder, one of the funnest games of War Thunder I have played for the longest time. And I did it in an aircraft I have barely touched. In a nation I have barely touched. So let me ask you guys a question. When Italy was first introduced to War Thunder, did you guys feel the need to go and grind them? And let me ask you another question. Do you feel the need to go and take a look at some Italian planes now? Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll catch you all on the next one.